The next exercise sequence is actually four different exercises. The first exercise is swinging the arms up and down. The key here is to actually use momentum. What most people do is they swing down and slowly go up, and it's gonna cause shoulder pain. Believe it or not, the faster you go with this exercise, the less pain you're gonna have. I'm using five pounds right now. You could use zero weight, okay? But the first exercise looks like this. That's number one. Down, up, down, up. Now this is different than the other exercises because we're using speed and momentum. Where the other exercises I want you going very, very slow, this one I want you using momentum. This is the first exercise, 10 reps. Second exercise is off to the side. Now if you notice, my hips are moving at the same time, my shoulders are moving. When I move my hips this way, my shoulder goes this way. When I move my hips this way, my shoulder goes this way. And again, no pain with this. If you have any pain associated with this exercise, pick up the speed. So if you have pain with this, just go a little bit faster. Now if you have pain with it, again, stop the exercise and move on to the next one. The next movement looks like this. You're gonna rotate from the hips all the way up to the shoulders. Now it's not this, just the arms. It's a total body movement pattern. And if you can see my feet as I roll this way, my foot's coming up a little bit. I'm not turning out, but my foot is coming up and then coming back this way. So I'm getting the feet to communicate with the shoulder, to communicate with the rest of the body. The last exercise looks like this. You're gonna come down across the body. We're gonna be in a split stance position where one foot's in front and the other foot's behind you. You're gonna be on the toe of the back foot. You're gonna come down across the body, thumb is facing you. From here, I'm gonna stand up and back down. Stand up and back down. Very similar to you throwing a baseball or a softball. Same mechanics, up, down, up, down. Now if your shoulder starts hurting you, pick up the speed a little bit and add a little bit more rotation into it. If it continues to hurt you, stop the exercise and go on to the next one. Well, you might start feeling, it's very, very common, you might start feeling fatigue into the glutes on the side of the leg in front of you. That's normal as well. So to review those exercises, Number one, 10 repetitions. Number two, hip shifting, thumb up. Number three, hip rotation, elbows tight to the body. Number four, the throwing motion. This one is a very complex movement pattern. Go very, very slow with it, but go very fast with it. So what I mean by that is this. Understand the mechanics first, and then gradually increase speed. If you have any questions, call one of our therapists.